Okay. De -de -de -de. Well then, the items are in place, and now you need to learn how to actually sell things to people without embarrassing yourself. Okay. So, to start with, I will lecture on the actual process of selling an item we have displayed. Yes, Professor. If the students do not listen, they do not get any credit. Oh, right. Now then. When a customer enters, be sure to greet them with a nice and big welcome. Um, uh, w welcome? Greeting the customer helps them to feel comfortable and relaxed while in the store. Their comfort is fundamental to our business. Remember that as we continue. Now, a typical customer will find an item they want on our displays. And then they will come over to the counter to pay for it. Let me demonstrate. <coughs> Uh, what? Well, hello? Could I get this, please? Long sword. Base price, 1200. Uh, um, um, uh, <clears throat> uh, what they want will be in the target window. You will also be able to see the name and the base price. Pay close attention to that base price. Also, if you press button 3, das ist das. Longsword, equipable, type swords, effect, attack plus 14, base price 1400. A standard lightweighted longsword, perfect for novices learning the art of swordplay. <coughs> so, we'll watch. If you press button 3, you can view expanded information on the item in question. Hammer gemacht. Consult the custom.x program included with Racketeer if you wish to check or alter your button configuration. Yep, das habe ich schon gemacht. Wait, button 3? Custom.x? Uh, focus racket. Your life is hard enough to control as it is. Uh, okay. Now then, next. You must decide what price you wish to offer. In general, you want to try and name a price higher than the base. Try naming a price if you will. Uh, less. Okay. Ah, you likely noticed that the base price serves as your default. To raise your offer, press up. Press up? Ah, uh, okay. So, da machen wir hier erstmal. Komm. Das hat einen Base-Price von 1200. Ja, ich bin für 400% Aufschlag. Yes, very good. That is how you adjust your offer. As might be obvious, if a customer is satisfied with your offer, it is a sale and you get a little bit of experience along with the money. If your price is too high, however, a customer can simply walk out. Learning to determine the proper price, there lies the challenge. Now, if a customer disagrees with the price, but not so much that they want to storm out, then you can negotiate. Remember what I said about comfort earlier? That is the key here. Offer a price, but do not make it so outrageous that the customer feels you are not acting in good faith. So, if they disagree but stay, offer a new price. Ideally, you will lower your offer a little, and they will take it and give you a sale. Some, conf some customers may just be trying to sniff out a better price when they are really willing to pay your initial price, however. Whether or not you risk testing that possibility is up to you. How long can you keep haggling? Well, that depends on how regular a customer the person in question is. As we are starting out, you will not be able to haggle for very long, but after customers begin to trust us a little, you can haggle for a longer period of time. Well, time to put theory into practice. Um, okay... Ah, welcome! Could I get this, please? A longsword, base price 1200. Schauen wir uns das Item doch mal an. Nein, tun wir nicht, das ist nämlich das gleiche wieder. Okay, I pick a price, right? Needs to be higher than the base price. Up button, um... Okay, ich denke mal 300% Aufschlag sind ein bisschen viel. Ich würde sagen, wir machen mal... 1400? Ne, komm, wir machen... Huch. So. Good. At this level, the customer will likely buy immediately. War wohl zu günstig. Alright then, now for the fine art of haggling. Theoretically, what you wish to do is lower your price slowly, but as I mentioned, there is a limit to how long you can haggle. The idea is to deduce the customer's desired price and go from there. 
you say deduce the desired price, but how do I? A large number of stores sell at about 30% over base price. It is not a hard, uh, uh, it is not a hard and fast rule, but people will usually accept that price level. Usually. If you can manage to go over that, you will make a lot of money, but you do not want to risk driving away a customer. Right then, so as a customer, I am haggling. Could you make it a little bit cheaper, please? Okay, gotta make it cheaper, but not too cheap. So, komm klar damit. There we are. Reducing the price to this level makes the sale likely. Well, that covers just about everything. Now, let us put the entire lecture into practice all at once. If you can sell me an item, you will be ready for what lies ahead. Let us begin. <coughs> Hello! Welcome to Racketeer! I would like this, please. Steel Sword, das können wir uns mal anschauen. Attack plus 20, a heavy blade forged of tempered steel. The go-to weapon for any real swordsman. Was steht da rechts? Characters who can equip current equipment. Okay, das kommt später dann. Okay, sie möchte also das. Gut, 3000. Sie meinte so um die 30 Prozent, ne? Können wir eigentlich 4000 anbieten? Hmm. Could it go a little lower, perhaps? Natürlich. Und dann würde ich sagen, gehen wir auf... 359. Hmm. Could you go a little... Ja, okay. Mach mal 358. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. Yay! I sold the steel sword for 3850 picks. Excellent, let us do this one more time, just to be sure. Okay. Hello, welcome to Racketeer. Nochmal das gleiche Item, I would like this please. Und jetzt gehen wir einfach mal und sagen, hier. So, bitteschön, das ist mein Preis. No, no, too high. That will anger the customers. Come, let us try again. We will try again. Keep the principles of salesmanship in mind. Ah, muss auch mal was riskieren, ja. So, gleiches wie eben. I would like this, please. Und wir sagen jetzt mal 4, 2. So ein bisschen höher. Ah, could you go a little lower, perhaps? Natürlich, dann gehen wir 200 runter. Hmm. Could you go a little lower, perhaps? Okay. Ich gehe mal genau auf 130. Overlong haggling will anger customers. Try again. Ah, okay, nochmal. Okay, okay, okay. Also man muss wahrscheinlich wirklich unter 30% gehen. Angenommen, ich gehe jetzt direkt... Uh, sagen wir mal... Dahin. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. Yay, I thought this deal sort for nochmal den gleichen Preis wie beim ersten Schwert. Wahnsinn. Expertly done. If you ever wish to practice again, simply ask me anytime. We are in the shop. Okay, das mit dem Preis ist anscheinend weniger wirklich verhandeln, sondern einfach 30%. And that is essentially how it goes. You are quite good for someone who has never done this before. <laughs> really? We still have a little bit of time left today, so let us go ahead and open the store proper. If anyone comes in, simply handle them in the same way that we just practiced. Wow! Are you sure it will be okay? Do not worry. As the saying goes, salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. You learn as you go. Now then, I will open us up. Go on and sit at the counter. Okay. Ich saß ja eben schon auf dem Counter. Warum bin ich nicht sitzen geblieben? Hey there, what can I get to you? Um, I would like this, please. Ein Walnussbrot. Wir bieten ihr das für, ich würde sagen, 128 an. Ah, uh, can't you make that a bit cheaper? Okay, 124. Mama 125, komm. That's just fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yay, I sold walnut bread for 125 picks. 
Congratulations, you did well. I I sold stuff. I me racket. I sold stuff like to people. Hey, tear. I I'm so happy. I sold stuff. Nay, I did it. Tear, I did it. Yes, we did it. We did it. Da muss ich an The Legend of Zelda denken, diese kleine Fee, die immer mit einem rumfliegt und auch immer We did it, we did it! Papa, I did it! Wer ist Papa? Die Fee ist hoffentlich nicht der Papa. And that's how we started running an item shop. Oh, you're wondering why we started an item shop at all? Hmm, well... To explain that, you need to understand how tear and I first met. Easy Game Station presents A tale of a fairy, a girl, and how to run an item shop. Racket and tear. Racketeer. Tear. Racketeer. Racket and tear. Hmm, let's see. Yep, the calendar says it's been three months since Papa left. I don't get why he suddenly said, I'm gonna be a hero, and then took off without saying when he'd be back. I really hope he's okay. I'm getting lonely. Well, I shouldn't worry too much about him. The best thing about him is how tough he is. He'll be okay. Oh? Huh? What? Papa? Wo Papa wouldn't knock. Who is that? Hi. Yes? Who's there? Huh? There there's nobody? Wait, what? At my feet? Good evening. Um, you are Mademoiselle Raquel Lemongrass? Um, Miss Fairy? Pardon me, but I am the one asking questions. Again, you are Raquel Lemongrass? Uh, um, yes, I, I am Raquel. My name is Tear. I am an agent of the term finance company. Finance? Uh, a company? I am here to collect payment on a loan paid out to your father. Here is the contract and my identification. Uh, loan? Repayment? I... Uh, in plainer terms, I am here to get our money back. If you are incapable of facilitating repayment, this house will be seized as collateral in order to repay the loan. Facilitating? Collateral? Co collateral? Seize! Uh, 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 what? But, but, but I, but I, I, Papa, uh, Papa isn't. <laughs> he's not here. <laughs> Ach ne, Entschuldigung, sie hat das gesagt. He is not here. Yes, I see that now. Monsieur Lemongrass disappeared, foiling a fracas atop the local volcano. So we assumed he might have returned here. Even if he has not, however, the contract covers this eventuality. Covers this? Quite. As the sole remaining main, as the sole remaining member of this hold of his household, we shall require that you pay his debts in his stead. Uh, well, what? But but that uh, uh, how am I supposed to? I uh, barely have enough money to live by by myself. Naturally, we are not demanding it all be repaid at once. There is still a small amount of time before any payment is due. Therefore, am I going to get sold stuff in parts of distant foreign lands to repay Papa's death? I wonder if I can survive with only two internal organs. 
Maybe if I eat a lot of spinach, that can replace my blood. And... Oh, but I don't want to be a sailor. What am I gonna do? <clears throat> Please listen to me for a moment. I have no clue where you are getting these ludicrous ideas from. But I would never do such a thing. Quite the opposite, in fact. I was sent here to ensure that you wouldn't have to resort to such... Well, absurd methods to pay us back. But... What? I have been sent to support you to the full set. Fullest? Ach, to the fullest of my ability, so that you may repay the debt via labor. <gasps> what? Ich soll arbeiten? But I've never worked a single day in my life. Experience has no bearing in this case. All that matters is whether or not you are willing to work. Oh. Ich will lieber im Bett liegen und schlafen. If you do not wish to work, then that it is... Uh, then... Was? Then that is it. The house is terms. Gott, ey, ich kann nicht mehr lesen, ey. If you do not wish to work, then that is it. The house is terms. And I will have to ask you to leave the premises. As the saying goes, those who do not work, do not eat. So, Miss Levengrass, which will it be? Work... Or the house. Oh, I will work then. Splendid. But but I don't even know what I could do. Actually, I already have an idea on that front. You are aware, of course, that this city is an adventuring hub. In addition, this house faces out onto one of the main city lanes. Therefore, I propose converting the house into an item store. Item store? Wow! Really? 